Hello again and welcome to Nine Finger Photography. Today's lesson is going to be on how to put film into a 35mm camera. Most of the film you get will come in a little plastic container and you'll open it up and you'll have a film cassette inside. You want to save the plastic container until we're done. It's a good convenient way to store our film when we are done with it. We'll just set it off to the side. First thing you'll notice, we'll have to take off the black protective body case and remove that and place that to the side. I like to hold the camera like so and pop open the back and you'll notice the back will be there. You'll notice we have the shutter in there. All right. The film will be loaded in the same side as the opening is with the extender piece down. All right, you'll notice a little extender piece, and that will be going on the downside. You sometimes have to take it, just cheat it up first. Then once you have it film in place, lower your opening slash rewind device. Pull the film over until you get about over to the sprocket right there. And you notice in the sprockets there are little grooves. Slide it into that little wheel or that little shaft, excuse me, and you have it in there. Then you'll need to put the camera and actually rewind it, or excuse me, film advance it. Now notice it's starting to come around. Then I push the button. Remember the camera has to be in the on position, so you'll have to move the film advance there. Notice I haven't shut the back yet. I want to make sure this completely loops around. So I push, take a photograph, now I film advance it, and now it's connected through. I have one full rope revolution around that shaft. So then I'll close the camera. Then I will take one, two shots. That way I know I'm ready to take photographs. Then I'll take my photographs out and about. Once you're done with your photographs, remember pulling the shutter, excuse me, the film advance to make it on. Then we focus it, adjust our aperture and our shutter speed. The shutter speed is here, never below 60 unless you're using support. It's your support could be a tighter shot using your arm as a rest. It could be setting the camera flat. It could be a variety of a bean bag, a monopod, a tripod, a pistol grip, a shoulder sling, or whatever. A fence post, a lot of things you can set it on. Remember, we adjust the aperture until the green light appears as we look through the viewfinder. Now, once you are done taking your photographs, is what you need to do is we take, flip the camera on the bottom. Notice there is a small little hole or a little black button. You need to push that button. It'll stay in. Once it stays in, then you are okay to rewind it. So we flip it and then we rewind and rewind until you hear a slight click. And it'll be released and the film will be released. Notice how the wheel slung back. That's an indication we are done. Then you may pop the camera open and remove your film. If you open this up and see your film still laying back here, that is an indication that we didn't rewind it correctly and we probably might have ruined the film. Now, a lot of times it will not jump out, so you have to tilt it very carefully and not breaking the door of the camera. Then please close the camera, put your film, might be a good idea to get a sharpie and write your name on it, or a piece of masking tape over the lid, close it, and that's how we load and unload the Nikon D50. Hope you found this helpful, hopefully it'll be a review. Happy picture taking and rewinding. And remember, if you're not certain your film is rewound correctly,
please open it up in a dark room with no lights on. Or you will learn in our next segment how to put film into a changing bag and low developing tank. Thank you again from Nine Finger Photography and happy picture taking. Bye.